welcome back to my channel this is sally in the building salem so today we'll be making adasa's air for school preparation against next week please if you are my first time subscriber thank you very much i'm a returning subscriber thank you very much so if you are seeing my video for the first time i am not yet subscribed to my channel please what are you waiting for please do exercise my channel and talk now your post notifications to get notified whenever i post new videos so let's dive right into the making of this day. So I want to make a thread hair for her. That's with a I've seen this style for a long time on Facebook and I've been meaning to make it for her. So today I'll be making it for her. So guys, why I'm making this hair, I'm going to be telling you guys a short story of what happened early today when I went out. So this morning it rained very well last night. So i had to go to somewhere to get something so i left the house early so by the time i got to where i was going to that the keke man dropped me so i was walking all of a sudden i saw a woman the way she was walking on the road as if trying to enter the road because it's a third road like it's a it's kind of a marketplace where motor pass but there's always there's like a walkway beside on each lane so, but she was not on the walkway, she was on the main road. So, I was like, Madam, please climb up now and come to the um, walkway. So, I now noticed that she can't see. Because I now, because I was backing my baby and I was holding my umbrella because it was still drizzling. So, when I was speaking, I was like, Mama, Madam, why not climb this slab, which is the walkway, and leave the main road? Because, because the place was like, like I said, it's a marketplace. So, so many parks are there going to different in fact we have like so many different parts that serves as park going to like six different locations from that particular uh, spot and you know the way these um damn food drivers keke drivers they drive so when i was telling her to leave the walkway i didn't notice that she was using her hand to like demonstrate to see like i see someone to touch something and i notice she can't see so i now went closer to her and i held her hand and brought her to the walk i was like madam where are you going to she was like and eh, that she's going to counting there's a place called counting in that Ogba area i said but this place that you are is far from where counting is he said and eh, our auntie was the one that put her in a bus like i think one of these damn food buses yellow buses that he told the driver that the driver should stop her at counting and the driver agreed the driver stopped tired i was so hungry like it just pained me that i didn't know the guy i would have spoken to him. like you see somebody in this kind of condition your heart still lets you as if that was not enough but i was rushing out to go to somewhere i can't even take her to the county i was back in my bed because i was rushing to go take my ingestion precisely so i now said so can you see? She said she can see small smile. I said, so do you know your way from here to counting? I said, can you see? She said, yes, she can see small smile. I said, okay, let me assist you to come to the walkway, which is the slab. Then since you said you can see little by little, maybe you can just be moving to counting. Then I left her. I got to where I, to the hospital that I want to take the injection. I took the injection. I even had some little chit chat with the nurse because we've turned friends since I was going there to take her. She has been very kind to me. So on my way coming back, I thought everything was over. Ah, almost like few steps away from the spot I left her, she has moved few steps and she was still there. She was like on the road. She came down from the slab and was flabbing her hands as if she's stopping something. And I said, Madam, you're still here. Say yes. I say, what? I say she's looking for. I say you can't see bike. Don't worry. Let me assist you to the end of the road at least there's a bus stop we are going to see a bus going to like beggar and on your way canteen is along that way going to beggar she said okay on a second thought i said okay let me take her to where the bus stop where me i'm supposed to take my keke coming to my area which is okira and there are some bikes that are there so okay i don't know if these bikes they can be able to take you so i asked her where are you going to you can say she's going to a cac church in county I said, so everybody in that area know that once you call CAC Church, you would count in CAC Church. She said, yes. So I took her to the um, place where um, the bike they used to stop. But those bikes, I knew they go, they go to where I'm going to. But I was like, sometimes they can just risk kids and charge 
uh, more than what they will usually charge to take it to your destination so i thought that would be the case so by the time i got there and i approached the bike the bike man said no that they can't go there that the police there they are disturbing them and angry too so they want them to buy tickets for that particular area and i understood what he said and i said oh god please help her. me i don't know how i'm just helping her. i can't just leave her on the road man like if i want to help her i should finish i should just finish it by putting her in a keke i said if i put her in keke keke will still stop her along the road and where she's going to she has to cross a two-lane road i said so that's what i'm looking for bike if there's any way you can maneuver and get to the particular at least front of the church the bike man said no there's no way that we should just take um her to where the keke is and probably beg the keke man that when he stop her he can like help her to cross and i said that's a good idea so that was how i took her i took her i will i carried her back to where we are coming from then i flapped the keke the first one if i could get there other people entered i said that is all right then the second one came it was a young guy like i just can't imagine let me just finish the story so it was a young guy and he came and i said okay um counting the man said 150 the woman said this one i said no it's not 50 and can you imagine that that keke from the bus stop that i was which is Ogba bus stop to beggar that keke charges 200 naira and where this woman is going to is trackable just because she can't see you that is why she's taking this bus if not that counting is not far so where this woman is going to like for instance let's divide the journey from where the keke is and the last bus stop the keke is going to stop into three the woman will not even get to one third like half of one third of that journey and that man is charging this woman 150 for a journey that she's not even half the journey of the normal uh, 200 is carrying i was like the woman was like i was already telling but i should enter like i would just pay so one elderly man I just noticed just saw and said don't worry so i believe the man will pay that was how i left so as i was going i started thinking is it that people don't have humans party first it was the bus driver they have told you drop this woman at this particular bus stop you accepted you collected money but look at where you left and seeing a condition that she cannot see you still had the mind to leave her there and now this keke guy they are all young i believe the bus driver is a young man because that is only young boys that can behave that way because this keke driver is also a very young guy even had dread on his head so they don't have humans party you saw this kind of person you could not even say okay let me even just carry her for free because where she's even going to is not even up to three minutes drive but still yet you still had the mind you would have left that woman under that drizzling um under that rain that was drizzling so i was not telling the keke man that oh god please can you please help me cross and when you get it the man did not even mind me i believe the people that are in because i saw one matured man at the back of the keke and a lady maybe they will help her so that is it i just it's it kept i i kept think like i can't just factor it like how do human beings think i've gone i've entered transports so many times that i have to pay for people it's not like i'm trying to tell you that this is what i did little money here 15 naira, 100 naira. i'll just look at it that these guys what is this the app you render to somebody today it might not not it might not be it's not that person that will pay you back, but god is going to use someone but God is going to use someone else to pay you back. I can't just imagine how people will be. Like they will harden their hearts. You see somebody, a disabled person. You can't even assist that person. Even with 15 naira, you cannot. It just beats my imagination. Anyway, I pray God help us all. Someone should not fall into temptation. Or see temptation that is beyond that person. Like I, I've tried my best. I tried the best I could to help her. So I don't know what happened to her afterwards. So I just said I should come and share this story with you guys. Why I'm making Adasa's hair. But as human beings, let's try to be sympathetic. Let's try to have sympathy on people we see. There are some people walking on the road. They are going through a lot. Some person might just approach her. I know that some persons do it for business. They are lazy. But there are some persons that are genuine. I can remember sometime last year, when my husband was taking my daughter to school and I heard her voice, she cried from the gate. I said, okay, let me check. I saw a man. The man has a smiling face. Like, it looks okay. He just approached my husband and said, oh, God. He was like, ah, the baby, that mommy has come. She has kept quiet. But when I got there, my baby kept quiet. It was just at that I had there. So he was like, ah, you see the power of mommy. He just approached my husband that, oh, God, that he had children like this in the house. Two, two, a bit three of them. 
that they've not eaten anything that i don't know anything you can help me with just help me the way the man spoke i saw that that man was genuine ah i told my husband that huh? i told my husband that ah it's like that so my husband called me i was like because the previous day i asked my husband to buy potato i just needed like 500 apple potato he went to buy like 2000 apple potato and the potato they've already washed it the mud out of it you know that kind of thing it's to spoil on time so I, my husband said ah can i go get some potato when i got to the house and i was packing the potato i just said why not add other things i didn't have much i didn't have money to give him at that time i just added some few rice um oil um mangi pepper onion you see that kind of person you know you see people you help them i can imagine what that man was going through when my husband came in, I was like, this man, I said, but you see the man, he does not even look like what he's going through. He has a smiling face. You see the way he was praying for us, God to bless you. You will never lack. You never see, you never lack what you use and feed your children. Blah, 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 madam, you will give birth to you. I felt for him. I felt his pain because the economy that we have is by the grace of God, we are surviving. Some persons were laid off from work. Some persons... I was just telling my husband that this kind of man, uh, if he does not have a good wife, that is how the wife will be putting pepper. Imagine the thing that just led that man to our streets. And my street is a very quiet street. Like people that come used to say it's an estate, but it's not a, an estate, but it's a very quiet street. But I know it's something that led that man to that street. And probably when the way he saw my husband coming at and his spirit just told him, he stood there. It was just me. I was kind of scared because you don't know what is the idea line to enter the gate of my compound. I just told the mother, oh God, wait here. I even closed the gate so that I would not know the particular place I was even entering. I'm just trying to be security conscious. That is it. But let's try and help. The 100 naira you give to somebody on the road, the 200 naira you give to somebody on the road might go a long way. It's not much, but it might go a long way. So guys, that is the thing that happened to me today. I just said I should come and share it with you guys. Why I was making, why I'm making my daughters. I just tried to share this with you guys. So that is it. I pray God help us. God provides for his children. Ah, I don't know what to say. It is well. It is well. So this is my daughter's hair. I'm done with the hair. So I will just burn it a bit so that, you know, I'm using Brazilian wool. If I don't burn it, this burning of it is going to secure it together. It will make it not to losing out. So that is why I'm just burning it. I'm being careful with it. So that is it. This is how my baby girl is looking. The hair is very simple but beautiful. And it's a protective style. It will last us for a longer time. At least we can't nothing less than two weeks. So guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.